Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in a Lamborghini Huracan STO, and next to me is a Lamborghini Aventador SVJ, and we are gonna have a drag race. Oh yeah, this is gonna be awesome. So, it may seem a little bit unfair. You know, this STO, it has a 5.2 liter naturally aspirated V10 with just 640 horsepower and 565 newton meters of torque. And it drives the rear wheels only via a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox. Still, this is quite a light car. It weighs in at just 1.4 tons. It's expensive though, 260,000 pounds. Now to tell you about the Aventador, let's chat to its driver. It's Mark McCann from Mark McCann 64, the YouTube channel. You need to check it out. Anyway, Mark, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. These are your cars, right? Both these Lamborghinis are yours. You've lent us them. You just want to see which is quickest in a drag race, right? I do, but I think I know because it's wet, so I can probably tell you already. Well, do you know what? You're betting it's the Aventador, but I won't be so sure. You see, the dual clutch automatic gearbox in this will give it a good launch. That thing does launch hard, but can be a bit trickier with its single clutch robotized manual. See, I know some facts about your cars. How about the other facts? Can you tell me all the stats? on your SVJ, please. So we have 770 brake horsepower, 690 newton meters of torque, 6.5 litre V12. So the stats are looking good over this side. Just a quick query on that. A little birdie told me that it's actually 720 newton meters of torque. That's not what Google said to me. Hmm. Let us know in the comments below, right? We're gonna put a pinned comment. Which one's right? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> anyway, so you've got four wheel drive and you think that's gonna give you the benefit in the wet. Well, do you know what? The runway is drying out. If I can hook up, I reckon I'm in with a chance. Anyhow, how much was the Aventador SVJ, if you don't mind me asking? So this one was uh, 380. Wow. And how much does it weigh? A bit more than yours. You didn't look at that stat up, did you? <laughs> I think you'll find it's 1,525 kilos to be precise. Though Lamborghini does state dry weight, so that doesn't include fluids, which is a bit of a cheat, really. The Italians, they like to give the best numbers possible. They're a bit like the Americans in that regard. They like to overstate things. Now, I want you to do me a favor. You're enjoying these drag races, you know, these kind of cool cars. In order to get them, we rely on owners such as Mark. Now, Mark's got a YouTube channel, Mark McCann 64. You need to check it out, right? So if you click on the pop-out banner up there, I'll find the link in the description. You can check out his channel. And please go there because I want you to go on his latest video and go, thanks for lending Matt your cars. And if you follow him there as well, that would be really good. Now, if you can do that, it does help us a lot because it encourages people like Mark to come onto the channel and lend us their cars, which then you can enjoy watching me race and I can also enjoy racing. So let's work together on this. <laughs> let's go over to his channel and say thanks for lending Matt the cars. Anyway, let's go on with this race. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Now, before we race, there's one thing we need to do, and that is the CarWow customary sound check. So let's rev up this 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10. Oh, yeah. Let's give it off the limiter. But... Oh, 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 yeah, there we go. So, does this V10 sound better than a V12? Mark, do you want to rev up your Aventador? Can we have a bit more of that? I didn't, didn't quite hear that at all, go on. Anyway, before we go on with this race, if you're thinking about selling your car, you can now do it through CarWow. All you have to do is upload some photos of your car, brief description, and our dealers will bid on your car to make sure you get a great price for it. Then they'll come to your house, take your car away, put the money in your account. It's dead simple. Now, if you want to do that, you can click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description below. Alternatively, at a later date, just simply Google, wow me car wow, and we will wow you. Oh, actually, there's one more thing to do. Let's warm up our tyres. Mark, do you want to go first? I'm not sure how well you can donut in that because it's four-wheel drive, um, but yeah, don't kill your transmission. <laughs> yeah, you basically just showered your car in stones. <laughs> and save yourself some time. <laughs> ah, you're trying to poison me. That was wicked. <laughs> I think we're warmed up. Don't think I can do as well as that, but I don't know what gear to do it in. Let's go. I've got all the revs. Should we try it first? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, mine's not as good as this, even though I'm rear wheel driving. <laughs> I actually meant to go back over there, but I didn't quite make it. <laughs> Anyway, that'll do. 
Now, before we race, I just want to say thanks to my mate Connor who sorted out this race. You can actually check out his Instagram and all the cars he deals with. I'll put a link to him in the description. It's C Connor 150 or C Connor 150 Instagram. Yeah, check him out. Three, two, one. Come on, go straight. Yes, yes. Did not expect that. Uh, Mark, you had a bit of a nightmare with that, I think, didn't you? We had a little bit of wheel spin, to say the least. <laughs> Cold tyres, that's why. Do you want to do it again? Yeah, I think we do one more. Okay, it's a brave guy. You want to be um, humiliated twice? It's like the um, baby beating up its bigger brother. Let's do it. That's close. Come on, go straight. It's all over the place. Come on. What happened there, Mark? It was like kind of neck and neck, then he like slowed down at the end. That was past the finish, wasn't it? It wasn't. He backed off too soon. Come on, I'll give him another go. Three, two, one. Come on. Oh, I'm going sideways. Oh, no, he's got me. Well, you got me that time, Mark. You got me that time. Yes, VJ is still the daddy, isn't it? It's a good job because it's about half as much again, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Aventador won, completing the standing quarter mile in 10.9 seconds, while the Hurricane took 11.1 seconds. However, on a warmer day, the SVJ actually managed a 10.4 seconds. So now we have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour with the cars in their most relaxed setting, if these cars have a relaxed setting. The least aggressive setting anyway. Automatic for the gearbox. So get to fifth, I'm going to count it in. Three, two, one, go. Oh, neck and neck on the kick down. I've got the jump on him. Woo, I'm going to have him. Go him to the half mile. Here's the mile. There's a lot of speed there. Whoa, 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 whoa. So this car kicked down really well, even though it was in like the most relaxed setting, and then it just flew. This thing is rapid. What happened to the SVJ? It's like it didn't even kick down a gear. I think it was having a siesta. It was definitely in no rush. Did it kick down a gear? No, <laughs> it was happy where it was. <laughs> Might not have mattered if it had twin turbos on. It would have had the torque to pull through it, but uh, it sounds like it just stayed in gear and just accelerated through its rev range. This time we're going to take all the kick down and stuff out of the equation. So we're going to race in third gear from 50 miles an hour in this sportier setting. So I'm going to count it in. Three, two, one, go. Pickup's amazing on this. Oh, it's close. Come on, here comes the SVJ now. Can I beat him to the half mile? So, <laughs> when you're telling it to change gears, it does a lot better, doesn't it? I reckon that I am more cleverer than the technicians at Lamborghini. Yeah, that, that gearbox is a little bit old. It is a bit old. The gearbox in this is really good, the dual clutcher, but that's just got one clutch and yeah, it's not the best, but it's brutal when it changes, isn't it? When that was going, all I was doing was laughing and smiling. It was unbelievable. I think you managed to beat me to the half mile, but it was blooming close, but at the mile, yeah, you had a clear lead on me. Now we're going to have a brake test from 100 miles an hour when we reach the line. Full emergency stop. Which car will stop in the shortest distance? I have literally nowhere to put this. I'm having to hold it. Not ideal. 100 miles an hour. In we go. Hey, baby! 
Surprise, surprise, the lighter car won. And Mark, I, I thrashed you there by a good few metres. How do you feel about that? I'm not ready to talk about it yet. This is getting embarrassing. Well, this is the lighter car, so it kind of makes a bit of sense, doesn't it? Thank you for that, I'll take that. It's the heavyweight. But there is one way where that car is definitely better than this one. So it's this, isn't it? Look, so normal, normal. This, this is just normal. Show me the bit of V12 action. I like a bit of scissoring. That's it, scissor away, Mark, scissor. Keep scissoring. Now, if you'd like a high-performance car that is a lot more affordable than these Lamborghinis, click on the pop-out banner up there, I'll find the link in the description below, because I found one on Car Out where there's a great offer on it, a nice sporty coupe that you probably could afford.